Today at Certified 911, we're going to do a cap change and update the coefficients on the YSI Pro OBOD uh, Stirring BOD probe. And um, you're going to want to uh, consider a cap change if the cap's been in service for more than a year or if you've been seeing instability in your readings um, or if uh, it's not holding calibration very long or even if you see some uh, physical damage uh, to uh, the cap itself. Well, if you need to change the cap, simply pull out the stir and turn the cap counterclockwise and then you're going to see a little o-ring. If you can carefully take off the o-ring either with your fingernail or if you have a little paper clip that's been filed down at the end because you don't want to damage um, the o-ring and then you can put the new o-ring back on that comes in the box and just uh, carefully twist that back on and uh, you can use a uh, um, some lab tissue to clean uh, the end of the sensor and inside the new cap and uh, just make sure that there is some uh, o-ring grease on the o-ring it doesn't doesn't take very much just a little bit and just spread it all the way around and then you can take the new cap and just uh, twist it on you don't need a lot of pressure uh, clockwise and after uh, the probe has the new cap you can uh, pull out uh, the instruction that comes with uh, the, the new cap and you're going to notice that there's a series of six numbers and that's what we're going to be entering um, into uh, the, the meter that corresponds with the new cap and at the meter once you um, are on oxygen you can simply hit the center button which is enter and then hit enter again where it says calibration and then we're going to go scroll down to sensor cap coefficients and then hit the enter and simply what we're going to do now is we're going to take our sheet and we're going to enter in uh, the new series of six numbers and I'm going to do the first series for you and once you're um, at K1 just hit the enter button and we're going to um, just re-enter the, uh, the numbers and so all you have to do is once um, the uh, letter or numbers underlined you can go up or down uh, with um, your your digits just like this and so we're gonna go through and um, once we have <clears throat> have that series done you can hit the enter and then just go down to K2 and once you're at K2 hit the enter and then you'll be able to go through uh, the same thing just go up and down with your arrows and you go right or left and then when you're completely done just go down to the bottom where it says save and then hit enter at that point and save cap coefficients and we want to um, select yes and if you have not got an error message at this point then you can simply uh, hit the mode key in your back if you did hit the um, if you did have an have an error message it would tell you that your coefficients were wrong and then you would just simply uh, just compare go back into the, the menu and just find out where you made the error because um, it will not let you enter them wrong. It has a checksum down here at the bottom. So even if you do make a mistake, um, it will tell you that and you'll have an opportunity to go back in. Hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any um, questions or comments or uh, need help on your meter, just go to certify911.com.